Hello everyone, welcome back to Physics HQ. This is Professor Sandeep, your tutor for the class 12th series. Continuing with the class 12th lecture series for solving MCQs and sums, today we will be covering MCQs of chapter 15, Structure of Atoms and Nuclear. So let us check out the first MCQ. In which of the following systems will the radius of the first orbit of electron be smallest? Hydrogen, singly ionized helium, deuteron, tritium. Now let us first write down the formula for radius for a given orbit. So radius for nth orbit is given as n square h square Planck's constant the square epsilon naught divided by pi mass of electron atomic number into e k square. Now in our case we are talking about the first orbit so we will have n equal to 1. Second thing that we observe is r is inversely proportional to the atomic number z. So for the three options that we have hydrogen, deuteron and tritium for all of these z ka value is equal to 1 and for helium z ka value is equal to 2. z is nothing but the number of protons that an atom has. Since z ka value is more for helium the radius of the first orbit of helium will be the minimum therefore the correct option is option B. Hope you all understood this let us go ahead to the next MCQ. The radius of the fourth orbit of the electron will be smaller than its eighth orbit by a factor of 2, 4, 8 or 16. For this let us write down the formula for radius of nth orbit. This is given by n square h square epsilon naught divided by pi m e z into e square. Now from this what we can see that the radius of nth orbit is directly proportional to orbit number square. So when we take ratio of r4 upon r8 what we will have is we will have 4 ka square divided by 8 ka square. Now this is nothing but 16 upon 64 which is 1 by 4. So what we can do is we can write it as r4 is 1 by 4 r8. Now from this what we can say is the radius of fourth orbit of electron will be smaller than the eighth orbit of the electron by a factor of 4 over here. So the correct option is option B. Let us go ahead to the next MCQ. In the spectrum of hydrogen atom which transition will yield longest wavelength? Transition from 2 to 1, 5 to 4, 7 to 6 or transition from level 8 to level 7. Let us write down the formula for wavelength first of all. This is equal to Rh 1 by n square minus 1 by m square where m is the initial level and n is the final level. So let us check out the wavelength for the first option option A. In this case the final level is 1 to so 1 ka square 1 upon initial level was 2 to so 2 ka square. So when we simplify this we'll get Rh 4 minus 1 is 3 by 4. This is 1 by lambda A. We can invert this and we can write this as 4 by 3 Rh. Now this will come out to be approximately 1.33 degree R. Let us check out the second option. For second option, 1 by lambda b is equal to Rh. The initial final level is 4. Initial level is 5 ka square. This is equal to Rh 1 by 16 minus 1 by 25. Let us cross multiply over here. 25 minus 16 will be 9. 25 into 16 will be 400. This is 1 by lambda b. So lambda b will be equal to 400 by 9 rh. If you simplify this, 9 4 is 36. 4 0 again 9 4 is 36 and this will be recurring I guess. Let us check out the third option. 1 by lambda c is equal to rh. 1 by any level was 6 ka square. Initial level was 7 ka square. This is equal to rh. 1 by 36 minus 1 by 49 when we cross multiply this we will have 49 minus 36 which is equal to 13 divided by 49 into 36 will give us 1764 this is 1 by lambda c so lambda c after inverting will get 1764 by 13 into rh let us simplify this approximately we will have 13 ones are 13 46 is 13 threes are 39 so 74 13 Pfizer 65 so approximately we'll have value equal to 135 let us check out the last option which is option D so 1 by lambda D will be RH 1 by final state is 7 ka square initial state was 8 ka square so 
so this is equal to rh 1 by 49 minus 1 by 64 when we cross multiply we'll have 64 minus 49 will give us 15 divided by 64 into 49 will give us 3136 okay so lambda d over here will be equal to 3136 by 15 into rh let us find the approximate value 15 twos are is 30 13 is left so 0 136 so 15 nines are 135 point something so this is what we got the approximate value so you can check option d is the highest it is approximately 209 rh others are 135 rh 44 and 1.33 rh so the correct option is option d in general you can say that for a single level transition the transition if it is taking at a higher level the wavelength yielded will be the longest remember this for the future reference hope you all understood this let us go ahead to the next mcq which of the following properties of a nucleus does not depend upon its mass number radius mass volume or density now mass number simply means the count of protons and neutrons in the nucleus right so if mass number is more or less the radius is going to vary same will mass and volume the only quantity that will not vary with the mass number is the density so the correct option is option d if the number of nuclei in a radioactive sample at a given time is n what will be the number at the end of two half lives options are n by 2 n by 4 3 n by 4 or n by 8 now understand this if at the beginning the number of nuclei is n then after one half life the number of nuclei that will be left is n by 2 and we want the count at the end of two half lives so once again after going through another half life the amount remaining will be half of n by 2 which will be n by 4 so the correct option is n by 4 you can understand this with an example initially it all started with 100 let us say so half of 100 will be 50 another half life will make it half of this which is 25 so this 25 is nothing but 100 by 4 so i hope you all understood this Thank you for your time. If you are finding this lecture series useful, then show us your appreciation by clicking on the like button and don't forget to share it with your friends and classmates. As you know, based on your feedback and suggestions, we will be covering key concepts under our 5 minutes lecture series of class 12. So please feel free to let us know the topic you want us to cover. See you all in the next class. This is Professor Sandeep from Physics HQ signing off.